Good morning. Let's see who's hanging out this morning. Good morning, Natalie. All right, so you guys see I have a wide array of things on my desk and we are going to make a sympathy card. Um, sympathy cards are super hard to make and there is a family in my neighborhood and the, um, the father just passed away. So he lives, he lived here in the neighborhood, um, had a stroke a little while ago and um, never came back from it. So he just passed away, we just found out yesterday. So um, I'm gonna make a sympathy card for the family. Um, and the family, I believe, I don't know for sure, but I believe the family is Mormon. And they have an affinity to bees. Um, I don't know what the correlation is if you are Mormon. Um, maybe you can tell me what that is, like why they like bees or why they have an affinity to bees. I don't know. Um, but I just know that they do. So we're going to color up some bees. We're going to put a bunch of flowers on this card. Um, this is going to be super mixed media ish and that's where we're going to go. So I've used the queen bee stamp set. This stamp set is no longer, um, available. Um, and I don't know if we're going to bring it back as a stamp set or we might bring it back as a digi, but six, one half dozen or the other. I use the queen bee stamp set and then um, I pulled out the Sometimes Life Sucks stamp set. This one's also sold out, so apologies. Um, but it has the best sentiments for sympathy cards, like bar none. So we're going to use that. Um, I have stamped the bees. I've also pulled out a number of stencils. So this is the Earth Mandala stencil. We're going to use this. Um, and these two stencils are from the rabbit hole designs. So, um, you guys all know, I believe we rise by lifting others. Um, so we're going to feature a couple of stencils from the rabbit hole designs. I'm going to show you how you can use multiple stencils on the same card. So good morning, Deanna. So I'm going to set that all aside and we're going to start by coloring these bees. So I like to use my W's when coloring bees. Um, if you guys would share this video, that would be amazing. Um, there's lots of groups that you can share to, uh, but I definitely want to like get our, our viewership up. So um, if you guys would be willing to share, that would be great. Even tagging friends and stuff is a super big help. So I'm going to start with W10. And... Um, since these bees are so little, I'm just going to color them like all at once. So you can see I, um, when this one, when I stamped it, it has the edge of the flower and stuff on it. I just kind of wiped that off. It doesn't matter because I'm going to fussy cut these out. And so I'm not super concerned about having a little bit of shadow there. Otherwise I would have taken way more time to clean that off. And then this is the other bee. I just stamped it twice. So I'm going to start with my W10. And I'm going to color this bee's noggin. Um, I like to start by coloring their heads because it makes the most sense to me. Um, and then I'm going to put a little line down in his eye. And this eye. Then I'm going to skip this one because I want it to be yellow. So this is going to be black. We're making little bumblebees here. And then at the knee joint of all of his little legs, I'm gonna go ahead and color those black. Now, if you, good morning, bestie. Um, if you cannot, do you guys want me to zoom in on this? Is that better? 
Um, if you do not have the marker control to just color by the knees, the bee's knees, um, then by all means, you know, just color in that whole leg. That's fine. Okay, so since this is black, this is yellow, that means this one's black. Sympathy cards are just, they're tough. You never know what to say. You never know, you know, what to do. Um, thank you, Sandy, for tagging people. That helps me a lot. Um, I'm going to come over here and do the same thing with this little guy. I need somebody on here who's Mormon that can tell me why they like bees. What's the, what's the correlation between the religion and bees? I don't know. I mean, bees are cute, so like I don't blame them, but I really want to know now. I'm super curious. I need um, Amy. She knows a lot of things. I need Amy Bell. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to this last little bee. And I'm not really sure how I'm gonna put these on the card. So I'm not really sure about light source. So I'm just coloring them how I think I'm gonna color them. And I'll go from there. I'm not super concerned. Okay. Um, Mormonism. Cause you wanna be cool. Hi Michelle. Um, I don't know why Mormons are attracted to bees. I don't know why bees are such a big thing, but the family that lost their dad, they, I'm pretty sure they're Mormon. Um, and so I chose to use the bees because I know that, that that's a thing. I just don't know why. Like if you go to Utah, all of their highway signs and stuff have beehives. It's kind of weird. I mean, I like bees. They're, they're cool. Bees do good things. But I don't know. Yeah, the earth would die. Yes, you are correct. The earth would cease to be without the bee. But I've never seen like a religion use it as like an icon. Um, but the Mormons, and I only know that because we're in a, like a Mormon territory. There's like lots of LDS churches and stuff here. And so that's the only reason I really know. And everything is, um, has bees. And I don't know what the deal is with the bees. So I was just being curious. I have lots of friends that I can ask. <sighs> um, have you read, Ilea, like what a short amount of time would happen? Like it would all happen in? I can't remember, but I feel like, yeah, it's, you know, not... <laughs> Not a very long amount of time. If there were no bees, what would happen to the earth in very rapid, very rapid succession? Now, don't get me wrong. Bees are great. Wasps are assholes. Right? It's called pregnancy brain. 
yeah, I was thinking it was like a three, three to five year thing. Um, but I can't, I can't recall. So here's W6. Isn't that crazy? Like one little insect, if this little insect was not on our earth anymore in a matter of a couple of years, our earth would no longer be able to sustain human life. It's so wild to think about. So what are you guys all up to today, other than talking about bees with me? Good morning, Kathy. Um, Kathy, I am so incredibly busy. Um, I know that you need to pay for your cards. I have them set aside. I have not penalized you in any way for my shortcomings. Um... <laughs> I will figure out a way to get you taken care of for your cards and get them sent to you. I'm sorry. My apologies. Yesterday, I had to take my dad down to the VA hospital in Boise um, to get his hearing checked. Um... Surprise, surprise, he can't hear. Um, my dad was in the Air Force. In the, Oh, that's supposed to be yellow. My dad was in the Air Force in the 50s. And um, let's just say the ear protection wasn't great back then. And so consequently, he was one of the very first jet mechanics to work on what? <laughs> um, if you don't see them in, online, it's because they're sold out. The chamois are sold out. We still have espressos. Um, and I don't know what holders you're talking about. Are you talking about the chamois holders? These, Kathy? These are from Make It by Marco. Hello, Amanda. So they are not on my website because I don't have them. They are not my product. <laughs> um, but I can get you a link. I'm sure if we tag Rebecca, Sandy, can you tag Rebecca or is Rebecca here? I haven't seen her pop in. Um, she can put a link for the chamois holders and Lena is making more chamois. So don't worry, but the espressos are on the site. Okay, so the black part of our bees is done. Awesome. Thank you, Sandy. Um, I like to use Y28. So anyways, the, the ear protection in the Air Force in the, in the, six, in the 50s was not super great. Um, and so my dad was the first mechanic, I did not color his head, to work on the B-47 bombers. Um, and those things, so loud. And they had three engines on each side. Um, super cool, but super loud. And then the flight deck, we figured out, my dad remembered, was on the left-hand side. And his left ear is like, he can't hear anything out of it. Like, almost nothing. So, um, yeah. That's a thing. So, it was an interesting appointment. And then I took my dad out to breakfast. Um, I wish I had a massage. Um, Michelle, talk to me. I know, right, Sandy? Take me with you. Take me with you. Um, Michelle, give me a send me a text. We'll, we'll figure something out to help you out with that. Um, 
So, anyways, I took my dad out to breakfast for the very first time in my life. Um, and we had such a good time chit-chatting. Um, my mom won't go out to breakfast because she hates eggs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's not allergic to any, uh, anything. But she hates eggs. Like, she does not like eggs. So... Yeah, I'm sure Sandy will be thinking of us. It's so far away from France. Um, so my mom like despises them and she won't, she won't like let my dad cook with them or anything. Like she is anti-egg. Um, I think the only way that she will eat an egg is in a cake. And that's pretty much if she bakes the cake because she wants to make sure that all of the uglies are out of the egg. So, um, it's kind of interesting, not gonna lie. Phoen uh, yeah, Phoenix loves eggs. Baby girl, let me make her eggs. Okay, so I have my white gel pen from Pear Blossom Press, and if you guys do not have the Pear Blossom Press pens, um, I don't know what to tell you besides click my link in order because they are literally the best pens. Like, look at how thin a line I can get with them. Um, I don't know what kind of voodoo magic Amanda puts on these pens, but I hope she never stops because this is the best gel pen ever in the history of ever. Okay, um, then I'm going to use, I like to use BG11 for their wings. So I'm working on a, a reel for Instagram or Facebook or whatever. I know that gel pen. I need what in my shop? The gel pens? Yes, I do. You are 100% correct. Do you have enough stock to wholesale me some gel pens? Um, I also need you to work on a clear glitter one would be great because yours is silvery. I need clear glitter. Just, just saying. Just throwing it out there. So, the Pear Blossom Press pen is, like, silver-colored. Really pretty. Like, stunning. Beautiful silver. But I need... So, like, this Jelly Roll pen is... Whoa! Is, like, clear with silver glitter in it. Yeah, I need that. Um, I know, right? I need to win the lottery. Hi, Allison! Oh, I miss you, Summer. I'm so glad that you popped in. Summer is one of our OGs. She was an original, sweetie, from way back. Yeah, so Amanda, if you could work on the whole silver or the whole glitter gel pen. Aw, oh, thanks, Sandy. That'd be great. Not that you don't have enough to work on, just saying. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna just fussy cut these little bees out because this stamp set was before the time that Sweet Sentiment did dies. And what I like to do when I fussy cut is kind of do a Ricky cut first. And then start cutting. And there's so many schools of thought on fussy cutting, whether you cut, whether you move the scissors or move the paper or whatever. I honestly don't think that hard about it. I move both. I move the scissors and the paper. I just know the most important thing is to not get all the way down to the end of your scissors because that damages the paper. So don't use like the very tip of your scissors.
Um, FYI, we're getting low stock on the Sweet Sentiment coloring paper, the eight and a half by 11. So if you are in need of Sweet Sentiment coloring paper, um, you might wanna order yours now. So, um, cause we're gonna start taking it to the events and so we might not have any in stock on the website. So order now, my friends, order now. Stock up on the Sweet Sentiment paper. Remember that we order or that we offer um, 100 sheets and half reams as well. And those are the best prices because you end up with a number of free sheets when you order that way. And you get better shipping that way. Um, yeah, you'll have a supply list. Kaylee, keeping sweet sentiment paper in stock is an art form in and of itself. And they only manufacture a certain size batch at a time um, when I order it. Cause homie, I can't order a pallet of paper. I mean, I guess I probably have room in my garage for a pallet of paper, but I don't wanna have room in my garage for a pallet of paper. And I certainly don't have room in my checkbook for a pallet of paper. So, I can only order in certain amounts. And my paper is manufactured in Florida. Just FYI, there's a paper mill in Florida that manufactures my paper, so it's all done within the United States. And if you happen to be across the pond in, the, in Europe or the UK, you can order Sweet Sentiment Supplies from Jude Creates. She is the only European wholesaler of Sweet Sentiment at this time. Yeah. Um... Thanks, Allison. Little buzz buzzers. Yeah, and the paper just comes to me like wrapped. And so I have to go through every sheet and make sure it's not damaged and then package every sheet because sometimes their machines will leave marks on the paper. And that's the paper I get, the paper that's all flawed. And then I package up all the perfect paper for you guys. And that's what you get to purchase. How about them apples? And then all of the A2 packages are cut down by hand. I cut them. So depending on how much wine I've had is how straight those papers are. Ha ha ha. Um, don't forget, this coming Saturday is our Digi release, our first ever Digi release. Oh my gosh, are you guys so excited? I am. 
we have a digi that you may or may not have already seen. And then we have a brand new digi that are both coming out on Saturday. I don't like white spaces. And so, but this is a small enough white space that it does not bug me. Um, I cut between this guy's antennae and there's a sharp corner here. So I'm gonna trim that down. But this is not a large enough white space to bug me. Um, and Amanda, my garage is fairly climate controlled, just FYI, because my husband has his gym out there. And so we have it, we have extra insulation and all that stuff. Okay. So now what we're going to do is this is my card base. And then I've cut this an eighth of an inch smaller than A2. And then this is just black cardstock. This is Stardust cardstock from Concord and Ninth, and I cut that an eighth of an inch smaller than the mat. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, you've seen our massively huge garage. And then this is an eighth of an inch, inch smaller than that because I wanted to simulate the B stripes. And then this is Sweet Sentiment paper, which is also an eighth of an inch smaller. Okay, so everything stacks an eighth of an inch. We're gonna focus on this Sweet Sentiment paper right now. And what I'm gonna start with is some oxide ink. So let me set my markers aside. I gotta keep them out so I can write them on the YouTube. Are you guys watching the YouTube and liking the YouTube and um, you know all that that I put the marker lists and all that stuff, hopefully. Okay, so these are the oxides that I have pulled out to use. Um, I know, swoon, look at all these oxides. So I've pulled out all of these oxides to use. Um, and like I said, we're gonna make kind of a mixed media-ish type scenario here. So I just wanted you to see that these are the colors I'll be switching in between. And I have all of my rabbit hole brushes for these oxides. Okay, so I'm gonna start with brushed, cordu brushed corduroy and vintage photo. And I'm gonna take my brushed corduroy and I'm just gonna go around the edges. And I'm not gonna care if it's super smooth or anything. I want this to be a little bit rustic. Okay. It is a lot of ink pads, yes, it is. I, I may or may not use all of them either. So this is Vintage Photo. And look at how it layers up with that brushed corduroy so beautifully. I chose the brush corduroy because it has a lot of um, yellow in it and I wanted that kind of yellow feel to it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of wipe this in the middle so it's not so stark white. And then I'm going to grab my shabby shutters. This is a really soft, sagey green color and it too has a little bit of yellow in it. And like I said, I don't want this to be even. Okay, it's splotchy. It's supposed to be like that. Um, yes, me too, Allison. 
Um, I, well, actually, I do get the original Distress inks um, because I watercolor with them, but I don't get them all the time. So, okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to add some texture using these stencils. So first things first is I want to add this honeycomb stencil in different places. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it on here um, and kind of look. I don't want it to be perfect. Okay, that's the thing with this is I don't want it to be like, you know, this is absolutely, you know, perfect. So I'm going to put things in different places. So what I'm going to start by doing. Ooh, wait, do I want to do the leaves first? I want to. Yeah, I want to do the leaves first. Okay, my bad. Sorry. Er, hold that thought. Okay, so this is the wilderness, or I'm sorry, the Earth Mandala stencil. And I don't think it's going to stick well enough for me, so I need my pixie spray. This is my pixie spray. Um, the B stencil is not, it's from the rabbit hole designs. I have an affiliate link with the rabbit hole designs. So if you would like, you are more than welcome. Um, you guys, I'm all over the map. So I'm going to take these hearts and I'm going to use wild honey. And I'm just going to. That's what I want. And this stencil is also from the rabbit hole designs. Okay, now I'm gonna take wherever the sticky side of this is, and I'm gonna put it here. Um, I like to go like this and take my espresso and press it down so that I know I have like full adhesion. Hi, pal. And then I have this really cool lunar paste that Sandy got me. This stuff is really fun. And again, I'm not gonna worry about perfection because this is kind of a mixed media feel. So I want it to be a mixed media finish, I guess, if that's a thing. So I'm not worried about like fully filling in all of this stuff. Sorry, got a message that kind of had an, had to be answered right then. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the rest of it off here. Waste not, want not, right? So that's lunar paste, and I don't like this straight line, so I'm just going to kind of wipe it. And don't worry, it's going to, it'll be camouflaged and masked. I just didn't want to have a solid whole bunch there. Okay, and so I'm going to peel this directly up. Ooh, how cool is that? Oh my gosh, I can't pick this up. OK, 
okay? Then I'm gonna grab my heat gun and then just heat set this a little bit, so plug your ears. You guys, the, the Sweet Sentiment paper holds up so well to mixed media stuff. Like, really awesome. So, hey. It's a little bit tacky still, but it works. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, where I started, um, I'm going to take the texture paste. And I'm going to put some of it out here on my palette. I have some acrylic paint. This is called Yellow Oxide. And we're gonna mix those together. So now I'm going to take the honeycomb and again this stencil is from the rabbit hole designs. And I'm going to add honeycomb on this in various places. Okay, check that out. So I'm gonna set that stencil aside. I'm gonna scrape off my palette here. Okay, and I'm gonna grab a cloth and clean off my desk. Because you guys know I'm a clean cracker. Can't handle this. I know, right, Holly? <laughs> okay. Okay. So now. Whoa. So now there's Archie. <laughs> okay. So here's this. Um, again, I'm going to heat set this a little bit because I want to speed along the drying process. Wait, stop. Before I heat set it, wait, stop. We need glitter. Gotta use the glitter shitter, man. Right, good morning, Archie. 
And then I gotta clean up all this glitter because as soon as I turn my heat gun on, it's gonna go flying. And we can't have that. Okay, now we can heat set it. Um, Ranger sells them, Amanda. Yeah, it's the glitter shitter. <laughs> um, we got them at, what is the name of that place, Sandy? The Creek, Bear Creek or something? I can't remember the name of it, but that's, that's where we got it. Um, and he called them the glitter shitter, and so from, it, from then on, that's, that's what it's been called. Um, but Ranger does have them. It's a Tim Holtz thing, and you can get them there. Holly wants one really bad, so I have to find one for Holly. Uh, Clear Creek. Okay. Okay. So now that I have this down, I'm going to use a couple of my sprays. So I have some Lindy spray. And I'm going to take my little tissue and I'm going to spread it out so I don't spray my keyboard. Then I have some brown. This one is called Cattail Copper Brown and it's from Lindy's. I know, right? <laughs> Super fun. And then I have the Distress Mica Stain, and this is Empty Tomb. Apparently, Sandy and I need to find the glitter shitters in bulk. Because pretty much everybody needs one. So yes, this looks a little over the top right now, but I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna blot some of this so that it's not so like, whoa, in your face. Now look at how pretty. So, are we done? No, we are not done. Ooh. Got it on my keyboard. My keyboard's so many different colors, I don't know why I even cover it anymore. Like. It's just a thing. I do not have 41 glitter shitters. I don't know what you're talking about. I have zero. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna start gluing stuff down. Um, but before I do that, Notice my edge has kind of faded some. So I wanna come back in with my vintage photo. I don't want brushed corduroy. Oh, yeah. I will, that's true. That's what happens to me. People ask me to special order stuff and then they don't buy it. So I order 41 of them, or I order 42 of them. I keep one for myself, and then I have 41 in stock. Okay, so I like that much better. Now we're gonna start gluing layers together. This is the point where I turn on my glue gun. All right, so I'm gonna start with a bow. And I actually think I'm gonna use this crazy olive green color. 
So, pinch it between your fingers, your thumb and your middle finger. Go around this finger, do two figure eights. One, two. Pixie Puffer, I like Glitter Shitter better. Go down through the V and then around and tuck it under and then pull it tight. We all like Glitter Shitter better. What does that tell you about our group? Can I just throw that out there? What does that tell you about all of us? That we're like, Glitter Shitter is way better of a name than a Pixie Puffer. A Pixie Puffer sounds to me like the um, stoner in the Pixie world. Like there's that one guy, you guys know him, he's the one guy that smokes weed. He's, so he's like the little Pixie dude that smokes weed. That's what a Pixie Puffer is. And he doesn't do any of the jobs that he's supposed to do. He just smokes weed all day and eats Cheetos. It's a thing, he's the pixie puffer. All right, so I lost the pin for my Barely Arts glue, so we're gonna see if it comes out. Um, I lost the pin yesterday. It fell on my floor and I have no idea what happened to it. Oh my gosh, I'm batting a thousand right now. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh. I know, right? I do too. I've never had this glue um, clog up on me, but I left it open literally all night because I can't find my pin for it. So give me just a second, let me grab a pin so I can unclog it. Hopefully, well, we're just gonna do it this way. So this is the, that comes with it. And this is the other spout. Which actually works better for this type of thing. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Line it up, use your espresso. If you do not have an espresso, you need one. We have several colors in stock. <gasps> Excuse me, as a hiccup. We have the Barely Art Glue in stock. We now have the um, the combo pack, so it comes with a four ounce glue and a refill. And then the ones that are just the regular refill should be here this week. I'm hoping they're here this week. And I have so many people that want them that if a refill or the um, combo pack, Kathy, the combo packs on the website Do I want to glue this? I think I want to put the ribbon around this whole thing. There's my protector. He's doing his job. 
I feel like you know everything you have that I have in stock too, Kaylee. I wonder why. Kaylee just helped me do inventory. She brought me coffee and helped me do inventory. I mean, if that's not epic. Look at that, super pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull down my sukoing tape. And I only use this because I'm using ribbon. If I don't use ribbon, then I would just use the Barely Arts glue and glue this right down. I forgot a very important step. You cannot drive. I know you would, Kathy. We gotta, we really gotta go gem hunting, Kathy. I know we keep saying that we're gonna do it, but we really, we haven't done it. So, the thing that I just went, <gasps> because I was gonna stamp a sentiment directly on here, but I guess we're just gonna have to do a something different. It's okay, I can't spell either. So I'm gonna pull these off the sides and I'm gonna figure out where I want my ribbon to be. I think right about here-ish. And then I'm gonna set it down and line it up. And then I'm just gonna use the closest grid line and secure it. That way I know that my ribbon is even on both sides. This one didn't get there super, super smooth. So I'm gonna go back and line it back up. Okay. There we go. Now, make sure you know which direction your card is opening. Press that down. All right, have a good massage, lucky bum. Okay, that would be awesome, Kathy. Okay, here we go. Now, remember when I said turn your glue gun on? That's because we're gonna, we're gonna put some flowers up in here. So, I'm gonna pull my flower stash out. And we're gonna look at some flowers that we're gonna put on here. And our little ribbon's gonna go right there. Um, the cool thing about most of these mulberry flowers is that you can take your inks and ink them up to be whatever color you want. And then I take my jewelry pliers and I twist this. I never cut these off. Don't ever cut these off because you can twist them around like this and make little corkscrews. And it looks like little vines and it adds so much texture. So we're gonna pull a couple of these out. I'm gonna add a couple of those. I have some of these. That's a cute little flower. I have some of these dark green roses. So we're gonna add a couple of those. An orange one. Okay, we'll see. There's no orange on this card, Michelle. And yet you want me to add an orange flower. Yeah, I don't know why people cut those off and waste them. I 
I know we're going to run a little bit long today. I'm sorry, but I really had to get this card done. And I felt like it was going to be a good live for you guys. So. It's not the right color of orange. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to curl it up and I'm going to see how it looks on there. You may or may not get your orange flower on here. Did we ever find anybody that's Mormon? Is anybody on here Mormon? I mean, not that I want to single you out, but that I want to ask questions. <laughs> it's really important to me. <laughs> I'm going to have to go ask my friends. Bye, Holly. Have a good day at work. I like this crazy flower, but it's awfully peachy, so I'm going to add some yellow to it. There we go. Oh, I know plenty of them. I just wanted to know um, why Mormons are super into bees. It's not that I don't know Mormons. I know a lot of them. I mean, we live in Idaho after all. I just wanted to see if anybody was on here that could explain it to us. I mean, everybody likes bees. Come on now, bees are awesome. But I wanted to know like why their religion has, you know, bees aligned. I don't know, and I want to know. And then I have a couple of these, so I think we might add those. So. That's that. Put those away. And then I have some leaves and foliage that I'm going to pull out because we might be adding some of that in. So, grabbing those. Okay, you guys ready to start gluing? I'm sure you are. I'm sure you're sick of me yammering on. Okay. I also have these distressed crayons. And I think I'm going to use this dark brown. And I'm going to pull these off. And so <laughs> the way I do things, it's a little bit scary for some people, is I just start gluing. I just go for it. I know some people spend a lot of time like mapping out where they're going to put their flowers and how they're going to put their flowers and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I don't. Hi, Seal. How are you? Oh, okay. Well, that's cool, Michelle. Thanks for looking that up. That's interesting. Now I'm even more curious. You piqued my interest even more. Look, Seal, I got all messy and stuff. Not really. I got messy in a very controlled way. But it's still messy, so it counts. I love my Lynn Lily glue gun. This is like the best glue gun ever. I've had many. This one makes me the happiest. Okay. Um, I like these little yellow roses, so I'm gonna add a couple of those. Now, the thing to be cognizant of when you are 
haphazardly gluing your flowers everywhere is that you want an odd number of flowers. In nature, things, um, things are odd numbers. So right now I have four flowers. So if I'm adding anything, I'm adding in odd numbers, ones, threes, and fives. I love this little tiny flower, so we're gonna add it. I have to bend the stem out some. I'm gonna grab it by the stem, because it's so tiny and I don't wanna burn my fingers off. <laughs> like Amanda, was it you that was saying that you no longer have fingerprints? I think probably that's the same for a lot of crafters. I think a lot of us no longer have fingerprints. Not gonna lie. So these little glue dots on here, they don't stick super well. Um, bye, Allison. Yeah, you'll have to watch from the beginning. It's always on our YouTube. As soon as I get done with these, I load them. I upload them directly to our YouTube. And... Um, that way you guys have them. And I always put the Copic markers that I used on, in the description on the YouTube. You could still get caught. Somebody was telling me that they no longer have fingerprints and it was cracking me up how far they were going with it um, about not having fingerprints and they could commit crimes because um, they burned them all off on their hot glue gun. And... Um, it, it, it was cracking me up. It was hilarious. So naturally, I thought it was you, Amanda. So you can't go still bunnies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need one more flower. At least. That one's kind of funky, so we're going to use this one. Yeah, that one's perfect. All right. Look at that cute little flower arrangement there. And it's because I just went for it. So some things in my crafting I'm really measured at. I'm very much like this has to be perfect and, you know, yada, yada. But some things I'm just like really haphazard and I'm like, let's just go for it. And my flower placement is one of those things. I feel like the more you lay it out and like look at it and stuff, the less realistic it gets. And so I think that if we just, I know, right? I'm not sure what that says about you. Um, <laughs> all good things, all good things. So I feel like if you just go for it, you're gonna come out with a better result. Don't overthink it. Oh my gosh, just go where I want you to go. How cool is that, guys? I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So I curl these off the leaves too. And just bend them up. Unless I'm like know that I'm like really gonna shove this leaf like super deep into one of these. But there you go. Um, I feel like I need a second one. This one I am gonna cut off. I know it doesn't even have the bees yet. Wait till we get the bees on there. See, I'm not gentle with these by any means.
All right. So I have five leaves. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to set the leaves aside. Don't need those anymore. Now we're going to lay out where the bees go. And I know for sure I'm going to have one up here. And I think that this little dude's going to be here. And I think that this one might actually be on top of the leaves like that. Ooh, I don't want these at the same angle though. So I'm gonna put that one like that. Um, otherwise they look to be, you know, the same bee, okay? Then we're gonna put a little flag in here that has the sentiment on it and we'll be good. I want to shadow these bees some though, so I'm gonna use this Distress Crit, and this is Walnut Stain. And where I know I'm gonna put the bee, I'm gonna use this crayon. And then I'm gonna just smudge it. Ah, dirty fingers! And that gives this little guy kind of a shadow. So I need a little bit more down here. Where's Lydia? She would be so proud of me. Okay. Where's my napkin? Here it is. There's Julie. I need you. Oh yeah, she's painting under a bridge, that's right. So I'm gonna grab a sweet pop. And I'm gonna cut it. Lydia posted this really cool TikTok. Um, and it was, you know, this dude painting um, a column underneath a bridge. And it totally made the column like disappear and look like the bridge was supported by a vase. And it was, gorgeous. So then she was like, I need to go paint under a bridge. Are you driving Sandy and texting? You better not be. I'll kick your skinny little butt. Okay. So this guy goes right there. Okay. Now this guy, he's going to have some shadow behind him. just makes those bees pop off the page a little bit more. Okay, as long as you're in the waiting room. Check out how cool that is. That is so stinking cool. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. What is that from? You love her. You love her, you love her, you love her, you love her. I know it's from a Disney movie. Two hours? Oh my god, a two hour massage? Please. What I wouldn't give for that. I have been married for 15 years and the last massage I had was our honeymoon. We, um, we were in Mexico and we got one of those cool like on the beach couples massages. That's the last time I've had a massage. Thanks, Julie. I feel like I need more coffee today. I'm gonna have to go get a cup and I'm out of coffee at my house. So I'm gonna have to like venture to Starbucks to get coffee. 
and the Starbucks next to my house is closed. Well, it was closed yesterday. I pulled in and imagined my surprise when they were closed. I was not a happy camper. And they do have masseuses in Idaho. All right, so there's that. Okay, one last thing is we gotta add a sentiment. And so let me put my flowers away here. So that I don't lose them. And my leaves. Okay, turn my glue gun off so I don't burn down my house. And then, so I have this set out, and this is, um, like I said, sometimes life sucks. And I wanted to use this. When grief is, grief is deepest, words are fewest. I thought that that would be just a really pretty thing. So what I'm going to do is, I think it's going to fit perfectly right there, or we can put it right here. Either way. So what I'm going to do is pull my Misty out. I'm gonna grab my scrap peak, scrap piece. Wow, words are super hard today. Are words hard for all of y'all? And I don't know where I put my scrap piece of, oh, there it is. Oh, wait a minute. I want to use black paper. Perfect. Oh yeah. I love when things are perfect. Okay, so I'm going to pull out my little trimmer. I'm going to measure this by setting this on here. I want it to be three quarters of an inch. I guess I could do it this way. I want this to be actually just over three quarters of an inch. So let's do seven eighths of an inch. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna actually stick it this way. I'm gonna put my magnet right on the edge and I'm gonna put this magnet right on the edge. I'm gonna line this up in the center. Words are hard. Words are so, so hard. Grab my rabbit hole designs. Um, anti static brush. I can't remember what it's called, but you guys get the point. And black embossing powder is not going to work, but white embossing powder really will. The best white embossing powder I've found is this, the Lawn Fawn kind. Grab my Versamark, ink it up. I need a coffee delivery, not gonna lie. I can't believe that the Starbucks on 12th is closed. It makes me super sad. Um, it's not closed forever, it just said that it's closed for right now. It says it's temporarily closed. I don't know what the deal with that is. Look at that. That's pretty stinking awesome. Okay. 
So I'm gonna use my heat gun on this. So since it's so little, I'm gonna grab it with my tweezers. Oh, was it Kaylee? That's awesome. Maybe I can go get a coffee. Okay. Do you guys see all the elements of this card like coming together? to decide where I want this here or here I think it's gonna go down here so what I'm gonna do is grab my scissors sweet oh seal is Brutus Monroe embossing white embossing powder amazing I'm always on the lookout for like the best white embossing powder ever And I like to make all of my sentiments into little pennants. I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little more finished. So. And yesterday I showed you, you can use your bone folder, but you can also just use your fingers for this. If you don't want quite as severe of an S. And I'm going to put that right there. Oh, I did it the wrong way. I want this pointed down. And this pointed up. There we go. Because I want to tuck those pennants behind that little bee. <gasps> Look at that. How cool is that? I'm the group expert. Well, thanks, Facebook. Facebook. I can't talk. Obviously, I'm not lying about the coffee thing. Tuck those in behind the little bee. Move that up just a little bit. and then hold it. And there we have it, guys. Sorry we went long today. Um, my lisp. <laughs> you like my lisp. <laughs> today, apparently, it's very prevalent. <laughs> All right, so here's our card. Here's our sympathy card. Um, and then what I think I'm gonna do is take this and I know this is gonna freak you guys out. But I'm not gonna use a block. And I'm just gonna go like this, pat it down. Beautiful. I'm gonna put that back there. And then I'm gonna grab my stencil and I'm gonna find a place that is devoid of, you know, mixed media stuff. And I'm gonna use wild honey because that seems appropriate. And there we go. I also think it would be neat to take a different color. What about scattered straw? And mix a couple hearts in there. Super cute. Very personalized and thoughtful. And then of course I will stamp Whoa, did you see my little raccoon? He just committed raccoon aside. 
and stamp it. Hi, Tyler. You're super late. <laughs> and there we have it, guys. Sorry I, I ran late on y'all, but here is our amazing mixed media card, a sympathy card, right? Better late than never. Um, what am I doing with my life? Who am I? What are you talking about, Kaylee? Um, thanks, Melissa. Uh, see, I got my stamp from um, Vistaprint, but now Nicholas Magnuson does them from Unity Designs. So if you check out Magnuson, um, I can't remember what it's called, but if you go to Unity, you can find it. Because um, the card isn't for him, right? <laughs> when I'm making cards for Tyler, he's right on time. You notice that, Michelle? Um, so yeah, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned something, um, other than the fact that I can get a little bit dirty. I am so going to wash my hands right now. You have no idea. Um, uh, Tyler, or no, Nicholas Magnuson doesn't do the self-inking one, but, um, Vistaprint does. So, oh, Cheryl, I didn't know that you were in here. Thanks for joining us. Um, anyways, so I will go take a photo of this. I will post the photo of this and I will immediately upload this video and get it sent to our YouTube. So all of you that want to watch the replay can watch the replay and, um, I'm going to sign this and get this over to the family and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Toodles.